today I'm making another video that I don't want to make. Another art related video. Uh, I say I don't want to make it because I'd rather be posting my flag waving videos. But if I do that, YouTube will give me my third strike and I'll be banished forever. So today I'm at my storage unit and I'm starting to pull all my art out of here. <clears throat> I've been paying a hundred bucks a month here for like three years just to store my art, but I got another spot I'm gonna take it to. So, anyways, I just wanted to show y'all some art because I'm eventually gonna put it up on my uh, Etsy site. A lot of this stuff. It's a little too dark, I don't know if you can see it, but it's jam packed full of artwork that I've done over like the past 10 years. So, I'm gonna start pulling this stuff out and I'll take videos of it. All right, I can't get it all in one trip, so I'm gonna try to grab this much right here. I'll show you guys what I got. So we got a podcast studio that we're setting up, and I'm renting a space. So I'm instead of paying a hundred bucks a month here, I got a big walk-in closet over here uh, where we're gonna do the podcast, and that's where I'm gonna store this art. Humphrey Bogart. They all have quotes on them. Uh, this is from the movie 300. Leonidas. Give them nothing, but take from them everything. I got some stencil paintings in here too. This one's from Sin City. Jessica Alba. Throw me to the wolves and I'll come back leading the pack. Some of these are pretty goofed up and they need to be touched up. This one looks like, I remember painting this a long time ago. <laughs> Which way does it go? So. If you look closely, it's two zebras. One looking this way, one facing that way. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of that one. I should have chucked that one. Look at this Ozzy. Ozzy, baby. <laughs> Dying ain't much of a living, boy. Clint Eastwood. I like that one. Might have to keep that one. Man, that's a Spider-Man painting. I don't really like it. I'll probably chug it. I like this one. Jordan Peterson. Set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. Jordan Peterson. This is an Iron Man painting. Uh, you hit that button, if you put a battery in it, it lights up. Got a Kurt Cobain here with a quote. I like to complain and do nothing to make things better. <laughs> he must have been a Democrat. This one is Clark Gable. Hell, if I jumped on all the dames I'm supposed to have jumped on, I'd have had no time to go fishing. <laughs> Apparently they had fake news back then too. Here's another uh, 300 painting. It's a little scuffed up, need to touch it up. Check it out. See, see how thick the paint is on here. Sophia Loren with a quote. What's this one? Ah, uh, like this one. Fight Club. Hmm. I don't want to die without any scars. Fight Club. That's a good one. Sure. Painting of a, just a, of a 
a tiger. Got a Marilyn Monroe here. Women who seek to be equal with men lack ambition. This is the Godfather. And if by some chance an honest man like yourself made enemies, they would become my enemies and then they would fear you. <laughs> I like that. It's kind of a caricature, as, as if you can't tell. I painted this a long time ago. Ugh, I should throw this one in the garbage. The Rock came out and endorsed Biden. What a dipshit. The Rock. Maybe I'll toss him in the trash. I ain't selling that one. I'll junk it. We got a little John Wick painting here. Check this one out. People keep asking me if I'm back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. John Wick. This is a painting I did years ago. It needs to be touched up big time. Clint Eastwood. Whoa, almost dropped it. When you hang a man, you better look at him. Kind of a dumb quote, but Miles Davis painting. All right, here we got, there's no quote on this one. Just a Martin Luther King painting. Here's Lemmy from Motor, Motorhead. <laughs> That's a good painting. We got Leonard Nimoy. And uh, this one here, I didn't paint with a brush. I, uh, I took some, I let some uh, uh, latex paint, house paint dry real good. And then I, I dumped it into a bottle, a squeeze bottle, and I squeezed the paint out real thick on it crazy there's like over a gallon of paint on this thing super thick I didn't do it with a brush I just squeezed it out <laughs> crazy right and then this painting is you put it like this and it's two paintings that go together and it's a rhinoceros a rhinoceros this one is a prince and it's got a song lyric on it. And then behind that one is a weird sort of elephant painting. I might chuck it, I don't know. I'm not gonna sell all this stuff, but if I think it's a good painting, I'll sell it. So that's all I got here. So now I'm gonna buzz these over to uh, where we're setting up the studio. So we're going there next. All right, I unloaded everything. Uh, so now uh, we're at the studio. This is where we're gonna do the podcast. We had to rent a space. I got some uh, brick paneling I'm putting on the wall. And then I have some curtains, some black curtains I'm gonna hang up halfway across the room here and here and i'm doing all this because i'm uh, constantly being censored so i'm hoping that uh, the podcasting platforms uh, i can get our voices heard that way so hopefully i don't go to all this trouble and then podcasting is just as bad as social media but it might be so we'll see so i'm gonna i'm gonna store all my paintings in here i still have to get lighting uh, for this podcast and have to buy cameras so and the other thing is is that we don't know what the hell we're doing <laughs> I got all the stuff 
to uh, do the podcast, except for the lighting, which I'm getting here soon, and the cameras. Uh, so if, does anybody live in the Orlando area that knows how to uh, do a podcast with multiple cameras and blah, blah, blah? We're going to find somebody. We had somebody, but it fell through. The guy was trying to rip me off. So I'm, I did a Trump painting yesterday, and I did a video, which I'll be posting soon. And then when you jump on my Etsy page, first person to, uh, to buy it gets it. You know, first come, first serve. I only got one. But I'm going to throw, I think, this Ozzy up on my Etsy page, too. And some other stuff. I don't know what. I'm going to try to... I got a lot of big paintings, man. I don't know how much that's going to cost to ship. But I do have smaller ones. Like this Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Somebody might want that. That's old stuff I did years ago. I could probably get rid of this one. I'll sell the John Wick on there. That's, this is a good hand painted one. Like that Kurt Cobain I just showed you. That's a stencil painting. Those are always cheaper. This is hand painted. I got a little bit of touch up to do on it, but not much. I don't know what I'm doing with that Clint Eastwood. Would, would anybody want this painting? I don't even know. I don't want to throw garbage out there. I guess it's all right. This Marilyn Monroe, it's a, this is a stencil painting. I'll probably throw that up there. I might, I might pick out another one or two to toss up there. So ultimately I got to sell this art, man. Like I said, I kept, I, I had that storage unit for three years and hundred bucks a month and I never did anything with it. Just left all my art in there. So hopefully I can sell art to you guys. I know it's not, tr this isn't Trump stuff, but this stuff's already done. You know, the, I'll be lucky if I can paint one Trump a week and any money that I make on there, I'm gonna roll up into this, um, paying for this podcast studio. <clears throat> I've already spent thousands of dollars, man. I had no idea it was gonna cost this much. So at, at, at some point tonight, I'm going to post my Trump video my painting the Trump uh, with a link in the descriptions uh, to my Etsy page and then first come first serve and then I'll throw some other art on there okay till next time hey uh, so it's gonna take about five more weeks maybe before one of my strikes falls off my page all right um, then I'll just have one strike. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start posting my flag waving videos. But I think I'm only going to leave them up for 24 hours, maybe less than that. And then I'm going to turn them private because YouTube will give me another strike. So I'm just trying to save the followers I got uh, so I can at least sell art to you guys. You know what I mean? Because if I get, I, I get booted off YouTube for good, then, then you know, it's all for nothing. So... Anyways, you know, hopefully this censorship, we can figure a way out of it, man. It's bad. We, we, we can't live this way. You know what I mean? I, I deserve to have my own opinions and not be um, censored for it. We're being forced to conform. Look at me. Not, not putting my flag waving videos out there. We're being forced. Soon all of us will be forced to go in the direction of these crazy lefties. You know what I mean, and the, and the further it goes, the more they clamp down on us and the more we're going to be fucked. Where does it end? Where does it end? It doesn't end in a good place. I'll tell you that right now. So support the channel, buy some art. Uh, I'll have my um, PayPal link in the descriptions as well. Anybody wants to donate to the cause. Um, this has turned out to be kind of expensive, <laughs> but I just feel like we got to do it, man. We got to do something. You can't just give up. It's easy to give up. Like right now, I can't post anything on YouTube. I'm, ba I'm um, in Facebook jail right now, and I'm barely reaching anybody, but I'm still making videos, man. You know, but I tell you what, it takes all the incentive out of it. When you're, when you're being censored like this on social media, it makes you think, why bother, man? You know, because if, if I get booted from Facebook for good, and I get booted off uh, YouTube, then, man, I, I mean, my audience will shrink down to nothing. So follow me on Rumble. I post all my videos there. 
I'm on Parlor, but Parlor is still real glitchy. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Hopefully they get that squared away. And I'm on Gab. Is anybody on Gab? Seems dead in there, man. Like, I'm on Gab, but I ain't got nobody following me. I've been in there for like a week now. Yeah, I'm thinking I have more than 30 people follow me. If it doesn't work out and people aren't on Gab, I'll get off of there. So, once we get the podcast running, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, we're going to be uh, blasting it out on all the podcast sites, and we're going to set up social media sites to show uh, the video uh, part of it. You know what I mean? So, I think it'll be cool. We got a lot to talk about. You know, be some good conversations. I think you guys want to watch it. I don't, you know, I wouldn't be doing this. If I didn't think uh, we, we'd have some really good content. So, I mean, I hope I'm not doing this for nothing. I don't think I am, but I'm pretty confident that people will want to watch that. I think we might be able to reach more people through the podcast uh, than I do on my Paint the Trump stuff. So, got to keep fighting, guys. Let's do it.